So I joined when the children were choosing their location. So they, they came to me and said, right, we're going to have a look round Margate and we're going to be selecting areas to have their art installation. And that was, that was quite an interesting concept. And I thought, well, okay, what are you going to do with that? Because I hadn't been part of that initial journey. So then they came to me with what they were thinking about, which was more of an art experience than an exhibition. And that really excited me. So they then went to the local council and put forward their ideas. And we had some really positive feedback from the local councillors of how well they presented and the confidence they presented with. I expected them to get bored or it to trail off. Um, like any children, you know, an 18 month project is a long time, but they've actually just, they're, they're just buzzing for it all the time. We've got predominantly Key Stage 2 children in the young artists, but we have one child in year one who has almost led the project himself and he's really come out of his shell. It's been an amazing experience for him. They don't just work together in Turner, you know, they you see them on the playground t together in little groups, you know, the big ones and the little ones, which is quite nice. They've had a wide range of opportunities that many children wouldn't have had from visiting the galleries, from going to the Houses of Parliament. But for me, when I came into the school, the biggest thing has been the local project. So taking on an area of rejuvenation and really having a pride and passion in that. Everyone's excited about it. They're telling everyone about it. You know, our year sixes are very vocal in what's happening and, you know, and people are listening. I've evolved a lot and I think the kids have evolved a lot and we've kind of done that together, which has been really rare thing to do, really. Massive changes. Some of them have just come out of their shells completely. Um, the year sixes have just, it's, it's been fascinating to watch them teach and share their ideas with the younger ones and the younger ones putting an idea down on paper and watching it grow and become just, you know, something that we sort of talked about in you know, silly, silly things and now it's actually happening and they're like, that's my idea, you know, and, and then, yeah, that's my idea and, you know. You don't realise how narrow your field of people that you work with is in, in, until you, maybe you do something like this. And I have that chat with someone in the post office whose son is in the project and you see, like, they don't necessarily get it or they don't get all parts of it, but it's, like, opened their eyes to something or they've come to the gallery for the first time or or well, their kids are bringing home art every week and they don't know where to put it. And I, mean, I don't think we've not had a parent come to any of the events that we've sort of organised with them. Um, and I hope it continues because I think it's um, the children have thrived within that environment. Focusing in on their project has influenced and rippled out across the school. We've got children really interested in art that's not just quite standard and 2D, we've got people then really start to be more creative in their projects that they're, they're using. It seems like it's elevated itself a little bit above the way that I might ordinarily work in a gallery. Like, again, here we are, there's these families and stuff turning up and it's amazing. I think it's been wonderful for the school. I think it's great for the, the parents of the children to get involved with it. They're, they've all got an excitement, encouraging them all to come to the Turner Centre. I, th I don't think many of them had been to the Turner before the project started. I mean, my understanding is that this is the first time a project like this has happened, to the, to the gallery's knowledge. And like, in that sense, it's a pilot scheme, really. And with any pilot scheme, it's, it's, a, it's a working out on the job as you go. It's like building a plane whilst you're in the air. I, th I think the legacy for us is about taking that risk and then not experiencing art as just studying an artist and looking at the mechanics um, and looking at some of the skills that you might look for in the curriculum. Um, art's going to have a bigger purpose, not just for display purposes, but actually for having a positive impact on our community and sharing that way beyond the school. And I think if we ever were to do another project, I think we'd have more Lots more other children would be, you know, oh, I want to do that, I want to do We've had lots of children that, can we join, can we join, we want to be part of it, we want to be part of it. And it's made a big, big impact on them. They are so excited and they are so confident. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm.